What up everybody, Mark Galloway here, and welcome to my newest vlog. And today in this vlog, for the first time in a few years, I'm going back up to Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And up there, we obviously have like a, a summer house of some sorts. I haven't been there in years, uh, probably because of my schedule that I chose to take the route of, you know, because of my traveling, work, and all that stuff. But finally, I got the okay from my boss to head right up there. Oh, by the way, the Cat Noir shirt. Oh, yeah, I saw the Ladybug and Cat Noir movie. It's one of the greatest films I've ever seen. It does have its flaws, but it's a movie that I highly recommend. Go watch it. You, you, you're, you, <laughs> you'll just love it. I cannot wait for a sequel. Okay. <sighs> but that aside, we're finally going back up to Cape Cod. And I'm probably, I don't know if you're going to remember this, but when I won... <sighs> Or I don't know if I remember. I don't recall if I ever told this on camera, but when I was driving up to Cape Cod, like due to my sleeping schedule, I was nodding off at the wheel a little bit, and then next thing I knew, my mirror, my side mirror, clacked right off. Like it was dangling, like it didn't fly onto the road, but it hit one of the safety barriers, and then like suddenly my mirror was just dangling. So, yeah. Mm. But hopefully this drive goes well. So I'm going to stay off my camera for the most part. So I, I, I just at least until I get up there. So the house basically has had some upgrades since the last time we've been up there. So I don't know what they are. I think it's been mainly kitchen models. I don't know if it's been something with the living room, the dining room, or I don't know uh, anything upstairs, the basement, who knows. But when I get up there, my purpose of this vlog is to show you around Cape Cod a little bit, go to the airport, maybe the cream and cone, maybe one of the beaches, who knows. I wanted to go to the beach corner, but I don't know if we're going to pull that off. So I'm only going to be there till Monday morning when I have to leave so I can make it back here to go to work. And so, yeah. Also, I'm charging my GoPro camera, and I'm going to bring it on its stick. So when I get up there, and if I go swimming up in at Lover's Lake, Maybe I'll get some GoPro footage. Just hopefully I don't lose the GoPro. But anyways, guys, I'm going to start packing up real quick. And uh, we're going to head right up to Cape Cod. But actually, we're going to head to the pizza barn first. Let's enjoy some lunch. Well, all my stuff is packed right there. I also made sure to get my sandals. And also, I got myself some Cape Cod chips appropriately. So we're going to go to pizza barn first, and then we're going to start to drive up there. And also, tonight, we're going to have lobster for dinner, so that's going to be really good. I just got to be sure I got to do everything I can possible. Also, there's this amazing restaurant in Cape Cod, or somewhere downtown Cape Cod, I should say, that uh, the Chatham Squire, that, uh, that like, they're amazing. Like, that was our childhood restaurant uh, that we, every time we go up there when we would wait for our food, we would have, we would play video games or arcade games, and... It was a, it was a great time. We don't I don't think we we're not really doing that anymore. It's unfortunate, but I mean, but you know that's what we used to do in the day. And um, also, like I don't know if we will go to Hyannis, but um, down there, Hyannis, the most obvious thing that we see online is the the Cape Flyer or the Cape Cod Central Railroad. I watched a lot of those clips back from back from the day before I was born. Uh, for, well, you know, footage before I was born when Amtrak used to you know, have the Amtrak Cape Codder go up there, and then it discontinued after, like, 10 years because, like, um, the people who went up there couldn't, like, uh, find the proper transportation or anything like that, um, nor do, would they have any family up there, as far as I guess, but, but that, but Amtrak since then has never went up to Cape Cod that, after that, but, uh, M BTA, uh, the Massachusetts Transfer Department, like, I don't really know what, it, uh, don't know how it's said, but, uh, the MBTA has actually assigned the trains over there, where, so, instead of, uh, a train going to New York to Cape Cod, or from New York to Cape Cod, uh, they now go from Boston, or to, Bo or from Boston to Hyannis, so that's, um, it's unfortunate that we don't have a railroad that goes up from New York to, uh, Cape Cod, that's unfortunate. Uh, but I do hope that we can go mini golfing at least. And, um, you know, that's something we also used to do. That was also our childhood. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, um, it's just about time for us to go. So I will see you when we get to the pizza barn. We're here in pizza barn. And I just kick, kick. Right, right across the street. We have the Empire City Casino. It's more, it's a racetrack, but it's more of a racehorse track. Also, take a look at this right here. 
this pizza customized to look exactly like Spider Man's mask. That looks really cool. Okay, so this is my appetizer. So these are just french fries, ordinary french fries. They're pretty hot right now, so I'm gonna try one at a time. Mm. Yep, pretty hot. So good though. It tastes like, it tastes exactly like McDonald's french fries. I'll try one more for you guys. Really good. Whoa, look at this. Stuffed crust, french fries. Time to dig in. Time to dig in. Still hot in areas. some ketchup on it. So I am starting to get pretty full. So obviously I'm not going to finish it. I have my box ready. So, I, but before I do go, I do want to try this stuff crust again. Just as I remember. Whew, that pizza is a filler. Obviously, I didn't finish it. Right there, there's the box, and I have my drinks and such. So now, we're gonna drive to Chatham. I better try not to eat anything else apart from maybe these chips, or maybe until tomorrow, because I have a lobster dinner. But we have about a four and a half hour drive. But 
yeah, so I'll see you guys there. You probably, I don't know if you can see that, but right over there across the bridge, that is the railroad bridge. That's like an elevator. It drops down whenever a train comes up, comes across, wants to cross the river. So we are now here in Cape Cod. We're here in uh, Chatham now, getting closer. Right down here, this is a stop and shop we've been stopping to since I was a kid. And every time I went in there, I would try to find any new monster truck I could find possible. It, and yeah, back then it was the metal basis, metal base ones and such like that. Um, I don't really find them when they go to supermarkets anymore. Over there is a Verizon and it used to be a Hollywood video where we would rent movies and such. It Everything is like changing. And Stop and Shop, we'll still go there, but only like to get some food. If I do see anything new, then I'll buy him. So we're almost, so we're right around the corner from the house. I just thought like, why not stop at the airport real quick? This is the local airport we live right by. Um, so this, this part of the airport is a long story, but I'm gonna tell you a portion. Right here in this part of the airport used to be where a skate park was once had, or, or once stood. A skate park, like there would be uh, BMX jump, skateboard, skateboard bowl, skateboard like you know those loop those those jump things that go like this this this. Uh, is, is this a zoom out? Yeah, and uh, it would go. It where we would park right here, and then um, if I remember correctly, like right where that garage door stands, or right where the driveway of that garage stands, is where the skate park would end. So. But in the later years, I think it got out of date and such, or I think like they didn't want to pay any more fees about it. I don't know the full story, but eventually, in the later years, they removed it, and since then, um, it's been empty, and so this is kind of like now like a little lot of some sorts. So, yeah, that's the unfortunate part. Now we're going to take a little... Uh, drive by the airport I'm gonna show you a little bit of what used to stand here and this is it guys this is Chatham Airport we see planes here on display out in the airstrip I loved it like every time a, a plane flies over whether if it's a small plane a small turbo plane a helicopter or even hell even it a uh, small passenger private uh, private passenger jet they would always like fly, they would either go that direction and then when they would come for a land they would go around here, fly over us and even over Lover's Lake and go this way. And then like there's times even they would take off that way, they would fly over us, we would hear the roaring of the plane motor and then, and then like, but when they come around they're a lot more soothing and more silent. And um, there e there's even, they offer plane rides. Like right here, there's signs right there that asks that, or actually promote biplane rides where you can fly in a biplane. And uh, you can even fly in, in a regular airplane just for scenic, scenic views. So I would need to see how much those are, probably quite a lot. But uh, yeah, they even have a hangar eatery open uh, 7 a.m. to Tuesday uh, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. they're only closed on Tuesdays but thankfully though it's it's not Tuesday it's Thursday I have all weekend so I'll probably um, oh so no trespassing I guess so I guess like even if I want to go to the eatery I have to ask for permission from the manager I don't know much but there's a little bit more further down there than uh, what we have up here. But yeah. But other than that though, I do believe that this airport's open to the public. I just, I think um, it's only open to the public when you go to the eatery. But yeah. So that's a little bit what I will give of the airport. When I did eat here a couple times before and there is a, a balcony right up there where we would watch airplanes land and fly and such like that so that would be a pretty a sightseeing thing to see and on lego fan 506 when it was when it was new at the time there would be this is one other thing that they used to do 
they used to do skydivings. We would see skydivers and we would see skydivers jump out of the plane and then uh, we would see them in the distance landing and uh, right here we would even hear the shoots as they uh, as they continue to you know drop down 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 and then like they would just come right up here they had a there was a few accidents about skydiving along the way and then uh, eventually though they stopped doing that so now they're just still doing they're you know they're just doing their usual thing and now right around here right where these trees are this is also another public parking area where we would uh the people would park their cars basically take a walk ride their bikes if they want to there's a little bit more to this park than what you think well it's not exactly a park this now this was a very 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 long time ago Oh, you see, you see this right here? There, right here, was an old playground. And some of it is still remaining. I thought it was removed completely. I obviously grew out of it. A uh, little open field right there. So, right here in these trees, oh, you, you can see how worn down they are. You can see the back area of these planes. Or actually, I think you only enter the aircraft operating area. Just, I think you just gotta stay on the walk path. I think I got that out of context. But here, right here, we have an old playground. Uh, you can see this one's gone. This is a little rem remnant of what's left. Right here, there's still this old snail-like bouncy thing. Uh, it's really... Oh, here comes a plane. trees were in the way yeah yeah this one is yeah there's a bolt missing I, this was one thing I would use to use to ride I think even if I did want to do it right now yeah you can see how bad it's in the bad condition I think even if I were to if I wanted to you know, go on it and do some stuff. Well, like, I'm big for it anyway, but, like, even if I wanted to um, ride on it, go back and forth on it like I once did when I was a kid, um, yeah, it's more easy and bound to break. And, yeah, so when I was a kid, uh, the the playground right here, uh, or what, you know, what the playground looked like, it was in better condition than it was then. It was, like, an old, rundown shape, but it still held together best as they did. But now this is what it's like now. So like, this is what's left of the spring uh, seahorse bouncy thing. You know how these work. This one still stands in, but you know, it's, it's in bad condition and it's bound to break at some point. This one's gone. These tires right here, um, I would just hop on it and then I would just hop, hop, and then you just do the same thing. Hop, hop. Whoa. Oh, I was falling. But, you know, I would hop. I would just, I don't know what I was doing. I was just like, hop, hop. I didn't know what these were for. I think it was for like an old training thing or something. Kind of like a military thing. More tires right here. And me being a toddler, I guess I was just climbing, climbing, jumping over them and stuff like that. Here's also what's left of this old playground this is an old swing set the swings are gone some old seesaw things some old seesaw side to side things I don't know and I think those were like mon monkey bars or something I don't remember what it looks like I'm trying to you know piece together what it used to be like but that's that's these are still standing, but they're down now. It's only going to be a matter of time before this thing is gone completely, or what is going to, or what's going to happen. I, but I think they're just going to leave it all here to, to deteriorate. This is still standing. This is kind of like the spinning, the spinning wheel of some sorts. Oh, it's, it still spins pretty freely. I'm surprised that's 
It still spins like that. I thought you would hear squeaking. But, yeah. It doesn't excuse the fact that, that, that this is, you know, it's rusting away. It's in bad condition as well. But, you know, I'm surprised this, is, this one is still standing. But, you know, at least we know we can still ride upon it. Going back in time, baby! All right, we're gonna get off this thing. And, uh, and here's the seesaws that are still standing. A bench that's basically still up. Yeah, so these seesaws the, the seesaw and that spinning wheel, whatever that, whatever the thing is, they're, st they're the only ones left standing of this old playground. So yeah. But back then when I was a kid, it wasn't kind of like in the rundown. It was still like in the rundown rough shape. But it was not in, you know, the worst condition that it, everything is in now. But every time when I was a kid, whenever my dad brought me to this airport, I would just love to go to these attractions, whatever it held. Like that, spinning wheel, the seesaws, the swings, uh, monkey bars, whatever, these tires, and I would, and I just loved even going on that sea, or the, on that seahorse thing, or whatever, or that pony ride thing, whatever, but you know, the pony thing, when, I, when you get on it, you just ride it back and forth, lean it back and forth, so, no, I'm not gonna risk going on that thing, because for one, I'm too big, and two, if I were to even give it a try as much, it would be bound to break at some point. Who knows? You know, I would probably even, I would probably even fall, fall on my back or something. But yeah, this is what every. I was expecting everything to be gone, cleaned out, but this is what remains of this playground. So yeah, and this is what the airport's all about. So hopefully while I'm here, I'll be able to come to the airport for a quick bite. And there's also one, two stops downtown over there that I will stop to see if um, there's a pie shop downtown. And I think there's a snow cone shop or something. But other than that, that's it for right now. So that's the remnants of this playground. And this is the airport. So they're actually about to go down to the lake, so I'm going to join them in a little bit. But at this moment, I just thought, why not give a quick tour of the house? So this is the room I'm going to be staying in. Yeah, I'm sleeping in the girly room. <laughs> uh, but this is where I'm going to be sleeping in. Some old beach painting. It's been here forever. This is a nice picture of a beach. Uh, Photoshopped by Dick Durrance II. This room has air conditioning, so that's good. Closet right here. Another closet. This is filled with blankets and some sorts. And it does have some cleaning supplies, so that's a rechargeable. Yeah, nothing much. And a vacuum, just cleaning stuff. And pillows and blankets. Uh, one of the guest rooms, cool portrait, photoshopped of a really of the like the supposed world's biggest fish, and yeah, the reflection. Yeah, like try to read that if you can. The restroom. The statue swan has been here also for quite some time. Uh, compass in this old room you sleep there with my parents when I was small oh and this uh this old wooden statue sailboat I think that was in memory of my old great-grandfather uh, Kenneth or I think it was uh, I think it was pop I think he put this together or something well, that might have been a plane I don't know or it might have been a truck I can't recall uh, but yeah, this sailboat, this has been here for quite a while. 
and this fish, these fishes, seashell mirror, and these old, these old, these uh, small kiddish beds. Sarah's old bed, Amy's old bed, and uh, just a closet with some stuff, random stuff. And this is a picture of me and dad, and me, uh, no, no, I wasn't here. Uh, that's Sarah and that's my dad when they were uh, at a young age, younger age. My dad was more middle aged and they were having, uh, they had fake tattoos and such. Uh, yeah, but this is when, um, you prop, if you see right here in the corner, that was an old pebble sandbox of some sorts. We had an old deck. It's been renovated, so that's what we're gonna get to in a little bit. Old desk, and I don't know, don't recall if I have. Uh, yeah, I had a Spider-Man book. I once had a Spider-Man book stored in this drawer. I don't know, I well for some time. It's gone. Don't remember if it was still there. It wasn't. This is an old picture of me. So this is a little bit of what I'm going to show from upstairs. We're not going to go downstairs. An old wooden fish walking stick. So we'll go down here. We're going to the basement. Oh, I didn't turn a lot of food. We will need it right here anyway. Yeah, going down here is pretty creepy. Yeah, we still haven't used this. We haven't still turned this into anything. Uh, one time before, oh, glad we have a light there. One time before, um, in this particular part of the basement, we would have, we once had like an old, uh, stick made couch, uh, go across here, and there was an old wooden TV that we would use here. We didn't have like the modern technology fit TV right down here. Not like we had a comfortable couch where we would play video games here. No, it was an old TV where we watch uh, VHSs or something, or DVDs. But yeah, we got rid of that. Power converters. We have some old furniture right here. Uh, we have uh, painting portraits, tables, uh, some spare dishes, an old an old bench, some washing machines and dryers. This is a ping pong table. Oh, and we were just having fun right here. This is uh, we just have this old wooden board. I don't know much about what's what these are all about. Beer pong house rules. I'll I'll let you all read it. Pause it. Read it if you want to. But I'm gonna leave it right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some old puzzles. Dusty and all. Pa uh, beer pong such old table, chairs, vacuum cleaners, cans of paint. The typical stuff. But yeah, not much in this basement nonetheless. Oh. Oh, there's no there's no light bulb there. So we're gonna turn these light bulbs off. This webs. This off. And I gotta turn these off too. This is my first time in the house since it went under some restorations. Another guest bedroom. I mainly just want to show what lots of things here were like. This is an old picture of Pop with his old Camaro. Well, I, don't, I don't remember if that's the type of car, but that's, that's Pop. That's my great grandfather, Mark uh, Gibbs Galloway. And this old picture of a whale, you know, doing his tail flop. So, uh, photographed by Bob Talbot, if that's his name. Yeah, not much I'm going to show here. In here is the uh, washing supplies. This is our dining area. Painting of fish. A sailboat sculpture, which looks pretty cool. Fireplace. And this is the one of the living rooms, shorter. 
desk. Another sculpture of a sailboat. Panasonic TV. We have a DVD player. And I think there's a Bluetooth speaker. This old globe. This has been here for years and years. This is new that I've seen. This is a sculpture put together, a welded shark, great white shark. We have this old school lamp. And this um, plant of starfish and such. This has been here for years and years too. I would pick at these when I was little. Like I would like just take grab at these little pecks or spikes or whatever and then I would just break them off. It was pretty selfish, but you know, that was just me as a kid. Partial of the backyard. And uh this is the other this is the main living room. Uh we have armchairs right here. The Asignia TV. Yeah, we had we went through a couple of TVs in our day. So we had um we went through different TVs in our day. We had an old box TV, obviously. There was a cabinet full of DVDs and such. Um so there. I don't know if we have anything else. No, I don't think so. I was suspecting DVDs, but yeah. So we have we managed to get cable as far as I remember. One of the old couches, lobster painting, some more sculptures, a guitar, this old clock, it's not really working anymore. And this is our bar right here in the back here. Oh, this is new. This is, this is a stool. Never seen this part. Yeah, so this is a seat. I don't know if I either never noticed this before. Maybe this is brand new. Let's hold that out. Small garbage can. Oh, well, it's peanuts. Here. Some shot glasses and such. Yeah, so this is this is our bar. Uh, so here is our, our dart thing. Played this a lot. Oh, they're broken. Yeah, that's the living room. So my mom's in the kitchen. I don't want to get in her way right now, so I'll show you the kitchen later at some point. Uh, so this is our garage. Our, this is where we have our bikes stand, dangling. We used to ride bikes quite a lot. And we used to have an old pickup truck that we would have up here. We had to get rid of that because it was all, because we haven't been running it so much. We, it was getting old and leaves and such were growing in it. So we sold it away. So it's just filled with uh, bikes and beach stuff and all kinds of crap. This is our old fridge. And uh, we didn't get rid of this. Uh, we basically, we still had it in the house. We just moved it to the garage, but it still works. So we have ice cold water. Yeah, still still really works. Oh, we have uh, yeah, there's drinks. So yeah, pretty neat that we still have this. So right here, this is our deck. This is our brand new deck. So we, so like if you were to walk right here, there used to be like pebbles, a sandbox like right here and such the wood was getting worn out over time. So we recently had the house renovated. Oh, we're eating outside. I didn't see that. So it's now been co covered completely with brand new uh, boardwalks. And we used to have like a weather stick of some sorts. It broke a long time ago. We still haven't gotten a new one. And these are our canoes. Fireplace. And uh, yeah, quite a lot. Um, also, one time before, we had a bell that was right here. I rung it one time before when I was a kid. My dad let me rung it, and once I started ringing it, 
I was, my hand was hurting, and next thing I knew, I saw a wasp fly right on my hand, and next thing I knew, my hand was on fire. I was stung. So I didn't want to ring that bell ever again. And so, uh, and right here, this is our new um, shower that also we renovated, our outdoor, outdoor shower. And uh, we, one time before, like when this was built with old wood, um, I like I didn't want to go in that one at all, but because for one the wood, because like it was not in the best working condition, and uh, for two there would be bumblebees flying around inside, and I didn't like going in there even in the slightest. But we recently had this renovated too. This is what's inside. I think we will get an occasional bee, I guess, but this is where we would wash, wash up in the outdoors if it was warm or cool. Oh, there's a plane now. So we close that. So yeah, and uh, this is the backyard. We brought our cats here sometime before. I don't know, like Linnea had a ear bleed. One of our old cats had an ear bleed when, you know, when she walked into these woods. Yeah, so the woods right around here. We have coyotes that come across in these neighborhood woods and occasional foxes. This is the back of the house. I'll get this out of here. Uh oh. <laughs> what shit? Just snapped right under me. <sighs> get rid of that. So, continuing on, some woodsy areas, bird feeders, bird bath. This is where it ends, right here in the backyard. Now we're going to do the front yard, and then we're going to do the kitchen. Actually, I'll just cut through here, just as long as I'm careful. Oh, this right here is a game called The Ring and the Hook, is what I believe it's called. The game, the objective of the game is that like you gotta swing this ring until you can try getting it on the hook. I'll probably only try a couple times. Oh shoot, I slipped it. Oh, I almost, I was close there. And I was close there. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna waste time here. So yeah, that's the gist of the game. And old, wind, old some tree, a uh, shrub tree. This is the front of the house. Basically that's it. And this is what the front of the yard looks like. Okay, now I'm going to show you what the remodeled kitchen looks like and then we're gonna cut this part. We're gonna end the tour right here. So here in the kitchen, uh, utility stuff. Uh, we, had, we have new floorboards installed, new oven, new stove, new microwave. Right here, spices, noodles, ramens, and such. And we do have like some sort of dessert that we will be having, but I do hope to go to Meredith's Pie to get something new. Um, this this part was never here. Like last time I've been to this house, as far as I remember, this was never here. And this part of the counter stretched out a little bit further to this part of the kitchen. Uh, but recently, like when we had this remodeled, this was extended. We now have, we used to have just a trash can sitting right here. We didn't have this sliding out recyclable trash can right here. We recently had this installed. And now this countertop right here now is only shortened. 
So, and the sink is also new. So this is the remodel kitchen. We have a rower. So that's actually gonna wrap up the tour of the house. So now let's go to Lover's Lake. So I'm actually holding a float right now. I can't show you very well, but like I'm holding, I like I'm holding the GoPro in one hand. No cars. Oh well, there's a truck about to turn here, but we're now heading to Lover's Lake, and uh, about to meet up with Sarah and her friends. Probably gonna jump into the water for a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna show you what the lake is like today. Lover's Lake. I once, before these stairs were here, me and my cousins, we would take a bike and uh, ride down like, these well, woods and drive levels, them into the yeah. lake. Crazy okay, time. Like it's a very struggle like, to get them out of the water. So I just had a quick dip into the lake and uh, it was quite cold going in but after you, after a little bit you get used to the water. So this is what it's like going up. Long ago, none of these fences, benches, uh, these walking these walking things, these stairs, none of this was here. It was all just a hill. Neither was this picnic area. But recently, I mean, well, I don't know how recent, but over time they would uh, the town officials like made it they you know they repurposed this into making it as an actual land and they put up the sign saying no dogs allowed on Memorial Labor Day so yeah we're now just gonna make our way back to the house we're, we're gonna have lobster oh and there's possibility that we might go golfing so go along with me as we go couple of visitors so far yeah, a couple of turkeys. That's one of the wildlife I forgot visited here in the area. Time to eat. Well, the first night is upon us. We just had lobster for dinner. Caitlin's here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Pirate's Cove to do some golfing. And then after that, I, I don't know where we're going to go after that. I don't know if we're going to stop at another bar or I don't know if we're going to stop at a bar. I don't know if we're going to have ice cream or I don't know. Um, but if anything, we're probably just going to go do mini golfing and then come back here to have dessert. So, yeah. As you see, this is the nighttime here in Cape Cod. Oh. And here's uh, two th things I want to show you real quick. And yeah, I'm wearing a sweater. Like, it's supposed to be hot right now. Oh, yeah. It's a painting of a um, steel fish with a kissy face. Also, right here, we would have a mailbox. 
but we don't really we canceled all mail here or we probably just don't really get anything but so we took the mailbox down and we just put a stone fish right here so because yeah this this house is more of like a vacation house and i think we might have plans for to use it as an airbnb at some point but yeah so on a way to have a fun night also yeah I'm wearing a sweater um although it's august and it's summer it gets cold in the night at times so that's why i'm wearing it right now Good. <laughs> Skull Island. Yay. I haven't been here in a long, long time. The golfing ranges over here. Quite a good amount of people here too. Mini golf. Right here, kids would play with uh, remote control boats. They either stop doing this one or they just only do it during the really warm days. On a mini golf. Here we go. So that was my first shot. Oh, I got a good hit. That's the first par. Let's see what she's got. Oh, she just about passed my ball. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there's four balls in the water here. Dancing around in there. Oh, my sister's up. Ah, uh, she... Oh! Nice. Quite close. Ah, uh, she's messing. Is Kayla new at this? Danielle? Yeah. Oh! oh yeah. You're, you're quite close. Are, are you are you new with this? And not that I'm trying to pick on her. Uh, I think can we let Danielle go first or? Closest goes first. Right? Yeah. Yeah, whoever's closest gets the first hit. Really? Well, yeah, that, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. I, maybe that's an on rule. I thought it was in no, order. I think that's right. Two. Two. Both uh, two. You? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, cool. yeah, you're second closest. You're second closest. Oh, she's going to get it. Sorry. I'm trying to get her. No, it's Oh, Sarah got two. Alright, I'm not going to get a best hit, but I'm going to see what I can do here. Oh, yeah. no, I'm close enough, so I'll finish it off. Three. Mark got three. Mark got three. There's not a lot of room. Three. Cool, that was hole one. All right, go ahead. Hole number two. Ah, uh, I didn't get enough there. Oh, close. No. I was trying not to hit it too hard, too. Here goes Sarah. Oh, he. She oh, hits right. the boulder! <laughs> uh, she's just the about lined up on that ball. Why line up? I was trying not to hit it too hard. Yeah, me too. I probably should have. 
Oh, she got a good one? Oh, Jesus. You see, that's why I was trying to hit it not so light. Sour got it better than I did. And it's going to roll back. What do they have? Play it in front. Stand on the other side. But there's not like specific ones. Not a mini golf heavy. Nice. Hit it. Hard. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Uh, you're slightly, you're slightly ahead. Danielle. You. I'm not blue. Oh, yeah. So, so. Okay, that's it. Again? Yeah, no. go ahead, go ahead. Oh, okay. you're, well, I mean, you're close to the hole. <laughs> no. No, no. E there you go, you got three. <laughs> oh, who's pink? Shlee. Shlee. You're next. I told her I said that. Oh, 
is this a pill or am I yeah. tripping? Yeah. It yeah. is, right? Yeah, yes, it is. I was like, wait a minute. It is. Dang. I wasn't sure if I could Go ahead. Me again? Yeah, go ahead. No! Uh, Don't go back down. No! no. Well, you got some. That's a perfect three. Nice. Ah, uh, battery's running low. Oh, shit. There you go. Wow. Sarah, I just made that. Okay. Hole number four. Oh, there's it stopped. <laughs> So camera's running low on battery. I'm not gonna be able to get everything, but I'm gonna get as much as I possibly can. Oh gosh, gotta get in the volcano. Yeah, so the vlog vlogging camera died, so I'm gonna film a clip there and there with my phone until I get my phone uh, camera to recharge so. Look where we're at. The main school itself. All right, here's a unique way to try to get a hole in one on this particular hole. one way
I, I, got, I know how I did. Well, it's time for dessert. Looks like someone already okay. took a nibble. <laughs> time for dessert. Great piece of pie. Well, we're back home and uh, we just had some uh, crud bullberry pie. I bullberry pie, that's what it was. It's like a mix between two, uh, a few different berries of some sorts, so it's really good. Uh, so my camera is plugged in and charging. Uh, we had a nice game of golf. I tried to film as much as I could, but the camera unexpectedly was low on battery so fast. I thought I was being careful with it, but hopefully it doesn't die on me again anytime soon. But anyways, guys, that's the end of night one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Well, good morning, guys. Day two here. And, uh... So, my sister and friends uh, just left, at least for right now. Um, so, one of them is not going to leave until, like, later in the night. But, uh, but yeah, but right now they're they're not here. They stepped out for a little bit. So, so I'm still going to configure what I'm going to do on this very day. So, um, but there is some um, cinnamon buns that I'm going to have for breakfast. And, and then I'll see what comes to be on the second day. Cinnamon bun rolls. Mm. Mm. They're so good. And you know, there's nothing more to life than enjoying some Cape Cod chips. Mm. Crunchy. Washing it down with Pepsi Cola. Mm. Well, some people say that with the shasta's, if you don't have them, they come back. But mine have never come back. Oh, see, yeah. But when they start to look all okay, I cut them yeah, off. Yeah, but I've seen them. I mean, so these have been blooming. They look like they're going a little bit now. Yeah. But they've been blooming. Mine stopped blooming as soon as I deadheaded them. That's it. I yeah. don't know. I so we're about to go to Hangar B for lunch, and then we're going to go to Cream and Cone for, well, well, we're planning on Cream and Cone for dinner, but we're going to get Cream and Cone ice cream. And then uh, after this, I'm going to have to see if I can get something for my hand to heal up. And then it, and then Cream and Cone's going to be later for dinner. But as for what we're, what we're going to do in between, in between the, the lunch and the ice cream, or after the ice cream, we'll probably talk about what we could do. But, uh... Yeah. Also, um, if I'm able to go to Wellfleet, Wellfleet Driving, I want to see if, uh, how the team and Team Mutant Mayhem is. If, for those of you who have seen it, I hope you enjoy it, but just don't spoil it. Um, yeah, but my, my, only, my only nitpick with that movie, if it is good, my only nitpick was just how Donatello sounds. Because, like, eh, Donatello has a high voice, and yeah, it just doesn't work. It's just weird. If anything, Paul... If Rob Paulson re reprised his role as Donatello, I would have liked that a lot better. But yeah. But anyways, we're going to go to Hangar B to have some lunch and watch some airplanes. There's the biplane. We're here at the airport now.
comes a turbo prop, this thing is really loud. Okay, not, I mean, not so make a lot, but it's similar. It's like the private jet of this airport. We're about to have some shaved ice at Chillers. That's a candy shop, I think. Oh, there's uh, some sculptures made uh, based on whales. Whales in the park, yep. here at a local beach.
the United States Coast Guard Lifeboat Station in Chatham. We have some tire U.S. Coast Guard sailboat. No, not sailboat, but just a regular sailboat. I didn't have one of you saying. We have a retired Coast Guard boat. And this must be what the information of it held. The U.S. Coast Guard CO44 motor lifeboat, the CG44301. And right here, this is what it's known for, the lighthouse. Apparently, though, it's closed public. But, yeah. We're, gonna, we're looking at some seals right now. There's some right here chilling around the barge. I just had a good shot of, of this one. He's just going to...
like easy ones, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Why would I ever go? Yeah. Oh, the boat. Yeah. So this is what seating was like in the wow, caboose. Wow, right? Crazy, look at those little seats. Oh, and this is where you step up. Well, obviously, it's pretty steep. It's like, kind of like a double-decker in some sorts. That must be a sink, I guess, from what it looks like. Oh yeah, and this is and that's the stove, charcoal stove. Like I was told, what these cabooses were for, but now I see it's, this is where the conductor resides in. The seating's not all that comfortable. They're pretty old. Oh, new. No. I think they were probably comfortable. Probably but a little better, yeah. Yeah. This well, is 1852. Yeah. Well, yeah, I believe like when this caboose, uh, these were, these were once slide open windows. I do think that like when these cabooses were in service, then I, I do believe that these were comfortable to sit on and such. Mm. Oh, and especially like where this is where you would chill. But, like they. I think this because it's retired and old, they like no, they don't. Oh, 
Oh, think of this place like where you would use your laptop or write a book. Feels a little bit more comfortable up there. This is the caboose. So we're back home. So we went to a couple of uh, side attractions. So I have two pairs of pants that we decided to buy. One, of this is a pair of sweatpants. This is more like for the chilly, um, chilly summer night here in Cape Cod. Uh, we're now in the sunset. We're now about to get into the sunsetting phase, which later we're gonna go to uh, Mom and Bob's Burger or something for the bite, and then uh, we're gonna go to the beach to watch the sunset. Uh, there's we have three three beaches. Well, actually, we more have like two. Well, we do have the three local beaches. The the beach that we want that we all like to go to is the beach corner, which is like the big beach. But unfortunately, like, first of all, my sister and her friends have already went, and uh, not everybody else is here, so we felt like maybe it's not appropriate to go to the beach corner, or at least not at this point. So we're going to go to one of the neighborhood beaches to watch the sunset, and then when we get home, that's going to be it for the night. Also, um, the biplane rides, uh, so we looked at the prices. So the so flying a scenic, a regular scenic Seahawk plane is cheaper. The, bi the biplane is more money. Like it's three hundred dollars for fifteen minutes, but actually, this is my mom called and she talked to her dad about this, and they want to send me on the biplane. So when we get to that, I'm gonna have to bring my GoPro for that one, obviously, because like as you know, like when you go in a biplane, you do have a windshield to cover your face, but uh, you have to wear like a headset really tight and stuff. Also, I'm gonna be replacing these glasses with my sunglasses. So when I do that, that's gonna be it. So the flight's gonna be only for 15 minutes and such. And then, if, so then after that, we're gonna go to Cream and Cone for dinner, uh, for lunch, and then we're gonna go to uh, the Squire for dinner that night. Um, what we're gonna do for the rest of the stay, or for my stay, is kind of a little debatable. It's being in a shambles, but yeah. So I'll keep in touch with you, and um, I'll see you soon when we go to the beach, or yeah. We're at Mom and Pop's Burgers. We have the Mom and Pop's fries, which is kind of like animal stuff from in and out And we have the McDowell Burger, which is a double. Let's try it. Good. We were busy. We went to the Hangar B, then we went to Odd Job and got Mark some sweatpants, and then we went to Chillers, and then we went to town, and then we went to the... What? Odd Job. Um, then we went to the Lighthouse, and then we went to the, to the pier, the fish pier, and the fishing boat had just met come in so all the seals were, in, were there, it was great. And then we went to the train museum um, and then we went to back to Pretty Hunt to get ice cream and then we went back to the house and I went to the lake and Mark took a break and now we are at um, Mom and Pop's burger and he's just shoving this burger in his mouth, he just got it. And we were planning on going to the sunset. I don't know if we're going to make it. It took a really long time to get our food. So, um, sunset's at um, 7.57, so I don't know. But it's out cloudy, so we might not make it. But other than that, we had a really busy, really great day. Yeah. So, we just went to Mom and Pop's Burgers, and the burger was pretty good. And the french fries, they tasted a lot like... The in and out animal style fries where they have like that special sauce and they have the diced onions. Except this one has a more of like a restaurant touch to it, so it was pretty nice. We tried, we were going to go to the beach, but because the sun was blocked by clouds and it would have been, I guess, I don't know if it would have been set anyway, but 
went, but the sun was blocked by clouds, so we couldn't, we wouldn't really see the sun anyway, so we just ended up driving back, but yeah, that's the wrap up for day two, so it was pretty nice too, so, um, that's just about that, also just, uh, when I, when I get back home, I want to try to find a beach ball so I can bring it to Charlotte at Charlotte Motorsports, uh, no, Charlotte Motor Speedway, where I can, like, you know, me and the crowd can, you know, just pass it right through, and I'm not worried about losing it, because that's what we want to do. But anyways, yeah, that's the end of day two. And overall, though, it was pretty nice. And um, although, like, there was a couple of things that I didn't get to do on the second day, it still turned out pretty well. But anyways, tomorrow, yep, I'm going to ride the biplane. We're going to go to Green Cream and Cone for lunch, and then we're going to go to the Squire for dinner. So that's, stay tuned for day number three. Good morning. It is day number three. It's now Saturday. And, uh, yeah, we're going to start this day off with the biplane ride. So, in a little bit, I will be switching over to the GoPro, and that's actually where we're going to be from there. Um, though, I think Mom will probably uh, film me and take film me and Sarah. Yeah, Sarah's going to. She has, hopefully, someone will record the biplane landing and taking off. We'll have to see. But, well, either way, I'm really interested to see how this is going to go. It's my first time ever riding in a biplane. I have rode in a small plane before, and that was also before I rode it in, in you know, the usual passenger airlines, but never an airplane where there's either double wings or there's like an exposed, well, you know, when there's no roof, but yeah, either way, I'm definitely interested to see how this is going to go, but yeah, but that's why I'm going to be switching over to the GoPro. So, unfortunately, the the ride, the biplane ride was going to be today, but unfortunately, due to the fact that it's overcast and there is fog coming in, depending on the sound, we had to cancel the flight for today, but thankfully the, the weather, from what I know, it's supposed to be better tomorrow. So, uh, we're still going to proceed with the other stuff today. We're going to be going to one of the beaches, though I don't know if we're going to be stepping into the water because, like, you know, in weather it's like this, even in summer, it's supposed to be pretty chilly. Uh, not so chilly, like, in the weather-wise, but in the water, yeah. But, yeah, that's basically the twist of plans that we're having today. Scuba helmet and old school scuba helmet. Oh, I like this one. I feel a little bit of raindrops coming no. down. It's also uh, it's also some clouds in the background. So basically, I think we're gonna get a little bit of a rainstorm. Oh, jeez, excuse me. Um, it's quite. Yeah, it's quite crowded here a little bit. So I just ate at the Squire. I didn't really eat much. I do I do want to save room for dinner? But <clears throat> so I have a I had a, a loaded baked potato and a, a sweet and sour steak. So the sweet and sour steak it was kind of misadvertised. It was supposed to. It was advertised as kind of like a deep fried steak, uh, sautéed in sweet and sour sauce. But it has like. A, a Chinese dish twist to it so it was pretty good but at the same time it was pretty filling so I didn't finish it I only just got the important stuff in there so I'm just gonna stop at the candy shop real quick and then I'm gonna wait for Sarah and her friends to pay the bill yeah like I said it's quite crowded here but uh once they pay the bill, they'll come pick me up, and they're actually going to go back to the house before going to the beach. I might join them, I might not join them, but I'll see what happens there. So, just uh, left the candy shop. I, there was a couple of other candies I wanted to get. I didn't get um, all because I was short on money. I 
I could have kept a little bit of it, but I don't know. Just I just wanted to pitch in on the lunch, so I was a few dollars short, so I had to put some back. But uh, yeah, I got some right here. I basically, I think I have enough. But uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for Sarah to come by, and then we're gonna head right home. I don't even know if we're gonna go to the beach at this point because it is pretty overcast and such. If they still want to go, then you know that's good. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. Right now, I'm just waiting for Sarah to come get me. $19.60. This is pretty good steel for us and pretty antique furniture and such. So we're here at the cheese shop. So there's three types of cheese that we're gonna be getting. We're gonna be getting the Moonlight Midnight Moon, uh, the Cotswold, and the Bova Matano. So there was a couple of other cheese that we taste tested. There was a couple that were just some of it was okay, and some of it not so good. But there was there was uh, about one or two that I thought was really nice. So the reason why I didn't record anything inside of the cheese shop it was mainly because of the music playing in the background and i didn't want to get copyrighted because like there was a couple of places that had music playing in the background and i didn't want to get copyright for that so i had to put music over that but yeah that's so that's where we're at right now with the can with the cheese This is the closest I've ever been to a squirrel. Oh! <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's see if he's gonna see if he go. Oh, he got it. It's gonna fall off, bud. Mm. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip. The two little clips I shot of that squirrel out the window. And what happened after I cut the camera off when nothing was happening. This bird feeder, the squirrel, had, had, like pushed all its weight and it pushed it to the side so most of the bird food would spill out all over the ground so he could pick it up. And then, like, I could have had that on film, but, like, 
I still I still filmed his first failure, and which was pretty hilarious, and um, yeah. But then, so after that, I threw some peanuts at it, not to scare it away, but just to give him some extra stuff. So I'm just gonna wait for Sarah, Mom, and all the others to come back up, so we can go ahead and have some oysters. And then after that, we're gonna have cream and coke for dinner, and then we're gonna wrap up the third day here. And so, oh, there's a little chipmunk. Maybe it picked up some of the peanuts that I threw over here. Yeah. But, yeah. So then after this, we're going to do day two, uh, do day four with uh, the biplane ride, some ice cream. And then we're going to see what else we can do from there. I also think that, like, maybe appropriately, I'll probably go to Wellfleet Drive-In to see a movie. I don't know. I don't have a plan. But that's just what I have about having my mind. So... As of right now, let's just keep waiting. I do want to show you this guy, this thing for a little bit. This is a lobster lollipop. Very well put together. I do believe this is like strawberry or cherry flavored. Oh, it's red cherry. Mm. Okay, we're here at the cream and cone and we're about to pick up our dinner. I cannot wait. <laughs> Well, look what we have here. We got a big bag of food. Let's eat. So, I just had um, a lobster roll. Um, I didn't film that part because my mom was here and she was eating and she doesn't like to be on camera, like I said about a couple of other times before. But here we are. What we ha Here's what we have left. We have fried calamari. The lobster roll, like I said, but I just ate it. And we have a charcoal burger with fries, double, and some chowder. And this, the chowder is like one of the signature dishes, like for a beach. So, use this. That's really nice. Calamari. Mmm. This is our member. French fries. Just average fries. I mean, nothing special. We'll get to the burger in just a little bit. So here we go, guys. The last thing on the menu is this charcoal burger. Double. So it's a whole by two pick, so we gotta make this quick. It has lettuce, and I thought I had tomato, but I guess I don't. But anyways, here we go. Mm -hmm. Wow, I could definitely chase the charcoal. That's pretty good. Well, I just finished eating. Dinner was really good, but I'm really, but I'm really full. Well, I mean, not at this very moment right now, but I really still feel it. Just when I finished the burger, just oh my god, did I feel like as if I couldn't move? But yeah, so only have one more day here in Cape Cod. If anything, if um, if I have time, me and my mom will probably see if we'll go to Pirates Cove together, or if anything, maybe we'll see a movie. <gasps> oh God, excuse me. But yep, sun setting. I cannot wait to hit the hay once more. So. Yeah, and also on Monday, I'm not going to leave super early, but I'm going to leave just early enough so that when I get back home, I'll have about an hour or two left before I'll go to work on the late shift. The process, basically what I will do during this time period is that like I will pick up sh another shift for Sunday and then and then throughout since I have another sh uh, since I have another trip within about 2 weeks from now since today is Sunday, August 5th. Two weeks from tonight is the Charlotte Back to School Bash. So once we, once I'm there, I will have Sunday, which I will have time to fill in for Saturday. Since I'm going to be away uh, from work from sa uh, Saturday to Tuesday. And hopefully I'll get it as a, as a paid time off. And then after that, there will be 
another trip after that and about one more in November. Um, I have another one in October actually. And even though it's said to be lackluster, I want to give Wildwood a shot since I haven't been there about three years since the COVID shutdown. So, I mean, hopefully it'll be better than it was before, but we'll just have to see about that. I mean, it's probably going to be a letdown, but hopefully it's not. But hopefully it'll be a, an exceptional event. Exceptional event. Also, I don't know if you can hear that right there. That might be fireworks shooting off in the background. I mean, if you could see it. You, well, you, you can't, obviously, but if you could. But some celebration must be going on around here. But, yeah. Welcome to Cape Cod, basically. morning guys it is now my last day here in Sunday and uh, so basically what we're gonna do we're gonna start this day off with a biplane ride um, obviously the weather's a lot better than what it was yesterday um, so the weather was pretty the weather was okay uh, like it was uh, sunny for the most part but for there was times where it was overcast a bit sunny in the far end Uh, quite in the mood to film some planes while they're taking off airport down the road so so the weather is okay enough for us to have the biplane ride so then after that I'm probably gonna get homemade ice cream the girls are probably gonna go to the beach I don't know if I'm gonna be able to join them I might I might but I'm just not sure if I'm gonna go to the water but the beach that they're going to is the lighthouse beach the one that I was at a couple days ago I think it was on Friday that I was there but so but then after that it's gonna be a little bit up in the air on what I want to do hopefully if I can talk to my mom hopefully we'll go to Pirates Cove to do two lane two of the lanes and then if anything if I'm able to or if she wants to I'll probably go to Wellfleet Drive-In but just um, what I'm just gonna do um, after that I've got to get a Got to get a good enough sleep, and I have to leave at a good hour in the morning tomorrow. Since tomorrow morning I'm leaving to make it in time to go to work in the outbound shift. And then that's that. And then going into the next week before my trip to Charlotte is when I will have another shift to pick up on Sunday. The Sunday after the Sunday in this coming week. By the time this is being recorded, this clip, it's Sunday, August 6th. So... Uh, next week, next Sunday from this, from today, is when I'll pick my, another shift off from work. So, this time for real, switching to the GoPro.
a different, la different landing. <laughs> My hair is a complete mess. Boy, I gotta brush it. Yeah, that was really something, guys. The biplane was a lot different for sure. Like when we took off, the tail, you know, they take the tail. Like when they take off, this is basically a lot different. Like the tail has to go up first, and then that's how they basically take off. So like the we we could feel the wind just like breezing by. And thankfully though, because my GoPro was on was on this uh, gripper, and I had this uh, this wrist lock, whatever that is. Like it was able to help you know help me keep a hold of it sarah was able to bring her phone on and take as much pictures as she possibly could we flew over a lot of different attractions and uh that was it was really something and then when we landed when we were landing we landed on the grass and i didn't know what we were going to expect i didn't know or the pilot knew what he was doing but me and Sarah, we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know if it was going to be smooth or bumpy. So I was like, so I jokingly said, brace yourself. Well, actually, I think it was more, when I said it, I did say brace yourself. I was like telling Sarah to brace herself because I, she didn't know what to expect either. But when we touched down, it was actually pretty nice. I mean, a little bit different than landing on asphalt, but still, still pretty well done. The biplane was really something. And I could tell that there was people looking at it. There was people filming us. And even when we were landing, the pe someone was pointing up to it, hey look, a biplane! And so, that's how it went down. So, now I gotta brush my hair, and I'm gonna see what assignments is next for me on this last day. So right here, at Sunday School, where they make homemade ice cream, we have the sampler. So this is called the Shark Tooth, which is like black raspberry with white chocolate chips. Mm. I like that. That's really good. Alright, this one. I think this is pistachio. Mm hmm. Pistachio. That's really nice. I like that. Next, I think this is supposed to be peanut butter cookie dough. Mmm. That's awesome. I gotta make sure there's chocolate in this one. It tastes exactly like Reese's. I like it. It's really good. Maple walnut. Mm. I can taste the maple syrup. And the walnut has a really good crunch in there. That's really good. This is really good. Look at this truck. Some old delivery truck. Pretty old school. So we're here at Chatham Beach. So I'm not gonna go further beyond this bridge. What I'm gonna be doing is taking a couple of pictures. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm not going further up, just photography. So this is one of the views that I'm gonna get of this beach. It's really beautiful. Very adventurous. 
So, hello. So, worked out well. Yeah. Perfect timing. So, I just ate at the port oyster bar and the oysters were really good we had chatham um, oysters which were a dollar a piece on specific days or on specific times and then after that we i went to the beer garden and coffee shop which there we just had like a little bit of a snack i just had fried pickles not much but uh so yeah I've, so i'm just gonna go on up for a little walk we're probably gonna see what the speech is like down the road just taking a little walk and I was thinking of going to Wellfleet, but unfortunately, like, unfortunately, kinda, I just feel like I had a change of plans. Like, mom doesn't want to go there. Sarah and her friends don't want to go there. So I just feel like, okay, maybe next time. The other thing is, is that, like, I want to try to come up here as often as I possibly can. Because, like, while my mom doesn't want to sell the house, dad wants to kind of, like, consider selling the house. That also depends, like, if the Airbnb in the house that we have in Bethel and unless if that goes over well then maybe we'll be able to uh, pick up where we left off money wise but uh yeah we do hope to at least put a, a five-year lease on the house to at least keep it for a little longer and I want to try to make up as much time as I can to come up here to the Cape basically just to make up for the times that I missed out on because I do want to go to the beachcomber and I want to go to Wealthy drive in to see a good movie uh, if I can but yeah, I also want to be sure to go to Pirates Cove as well, because Skull Island is a lot of fun. But Pirates Cove with the two lane, it was re it's really fun that way too. But yeah, so I'm, I'm after this, I'm just gonna go home, relax, maybe dip my feet into the lake, and then after that, gonna pack up my stuff, and then I'm gonna leave in the morning. And so that's that. So basically, we're starting to wrap up our trip here. So, there's the entrance to the beach right there. Um, so I decided that like, while it does seem like a pretty nice looking beach, I decided maybe I shouldn't uh, go there. Well, for one, well, mainly for this. Wearing shoes. And your recent brand new shoes. Well, they're not really so much new anymore. They're my recent shoes. And plus I'm also wearing socks. And when you wear, when you obviously wear shoes, going through the beach um, you obviously are gonna get sand in them and I'm not really in a position where I want to just take them off and walk along the beach but it does seem like a nice looking beach it's pretty small basically um, but I do hope I can make up make that up to you guys when I come back to Cape Cod in some point in time in the future but yeah so I'm gonna just walk back to the car and just wait for mom to come back so I can go back to the house relax a little while and just relax for a while and then just get ready to hit the hay get enough rest so I can hit the road for tomorrow on the way back and then go to work in the evening but yep that's my position right now well here we are lovers lake once more I'm not gonna go further there just gonna stick my feet in. Be careful not to drop my camera. <sighs> it's very peaceful. And here are the fish chilling around. Oh, there's a big one right there. That looks like a bass. It's just going to go right there. 
I don't quite see it. It's blended in. Is it going to come this way? I do not know. Well. This is basically... So basically what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to wrap it up right here for the day as I'm going to be leaving first thing in, in the morning. Uh, yeah, I cut it off. Someone was right here. I didn't want to bother him. But, uh, but yeah, so that's basically going to be it for this day. I'll touch in a little bit on what I will be doing tomorrow, which, I, like I said, I'll be wrapping up uh, before, um, before, I leave, before I head back. But that's basically what my weekend was like here in Cape Cod. But there will be a day when I come back here up here soon, but probably won't be too soon. There's a the fish. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And uh, that was my trip. It's our last day here. Well, technically, yesterday was my last day, but, well, yeah, either way, today's the day that I head home, and I have all my stuff packed up, so I'm going to end the vlog here as I head out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like down below, comment, share, and subscribe, and that's it. I'll see you guys later.